What's going on guys? It is Jesse here and today I'm coming at you with another video. Today we are talking about three bad boy phrases that women will instantly melt for. Three bad boy phrases you can use on a first date, at a bar, at a club, even talking to a girl at a grocery store, at the mall. Three bad boy phrases that will instantly flip the script, get the girl chasing you and have her falling in love for you, melting right there on the spot. So without further ado, gentlemen, let's crack right into it. All right, gentlemen, the first melting phrase you can use is, I guess we should buy a minivan because the way you're looking at me, you must already be pregnant. I'm gonna tell you that again. I I guess we should buy a minivan because the way you're looking at me, you must already be pregnant. Guys, this is an incredibly cocky statement of high entitlement that flips the script. It flips the frame where you're putting the girl into the frame of chasing after you. This phrase puts the girl in the statement, damn, this guy is cocky. Damn, this guy is confident. Look at yourself. But that's what women like. Women like men with extreme, narcissistic, over-the-top confidence where you're just assuming the sale. You're assuming the girl likes you. And think about it, no nice guy, no beta orbiter is ever going to say something like that to a girl. No, a nice guy, he's gonna be saying something that is seeking rapport. Oh, my highness, uh, you're so beautiful today. Oh, you look fantastic. What can I do for you? What can I get you? But when you say to that girl, you know, we should buy a minivan because just the way you're looking at me, you're probably already pregnant. Automatically, it's going to make her laugh, right? Because it's a little bit funny. But there's an element of truth to that. If she's on a first date with you, she likes you to some degree. She's looking at you with those big dilated pupils. If you're at a bar or a club and you're making her laugh, she's having a good time, she likes you to some degree. You're going to see that smile going across her face. You're going to see that you know, admiration in her eyes, those big wide eyes at everything you're saying, and you tell her that, hey, you must already be pregnant by the way you're looking at me, it's gonna resonate with her. It's going to be partly true, right? She's gonna feel that. She's gonna be like, yeah, to some degree, <laughs> maybe you're right. She's at least going to question her own reality, especially if you say it with so much certainty and so much confidence, you're leading the frame in such a strong way, you're so sure of yourself, she's gonna believe, uh, I guess it must be true because the way he's telling me that, it must be true. So I like to think of the setting the frame where the girl is chasing you as almost a form of inception. Now there's a movie out there called Inception with Leonardo DiCaprio where they implant surreptitiously ideas, memories into another person's mind where they think it was their idea. So when you say, you know, I think I should buy a minivan, just by the way you're looking at me, you must already be pregnant. It's like you're implanting that idea into the girl's mind. And even though you're doing it, if you keep repeating the frame long enough and hard enough enough times, she'll start to think it was her idea. She's gonna start thinking, yeah, I guess it's true. If you just repeat it again and again and again. Now you might be saying, Jesse, is that too over the top cocky? Is that too narcissistic? Is it too entitled? Is it gonna drive the girl away or offend her in some way? Gentlemen, look, the worst thing that a girl can ever tell you is, you're such a nice guy. You're such a good guy. You're such a friend. If a woman ever tells me, Jesse, you're such a nice guy, I'm running straight through the wall in the opposite direction like the Kool-Aid man just busting through that wall because I know I have done something terribly wrong in that interaction. I have never had a girl tell me in the last 20 years, Jesse, you're such a nice guy. In fact, they usually tell me, Jesse, you're so cocky. And it's like, yeah and you're still talking to me right now. You're still hanging around me. You just can't get enough of it. What do you love so much about cocky men, girl? Guys, girls eat this stuff up. It is like chick crack to them. They love narcissistic, over-the-top, entitled men that are not assholes, 
They're good guys, but they make the girl laugh. They flip the frame where she's chasing him. You're giving the girl the biggest gift in the world. If she's a beautiful girl, she has never had the opportunity to chase after a man. She wants that drama. She wants that adventure of chasing after the guy. And one of the simple ways to do it is simply to flip the frame where you start structuring it as her chasing after you. And that's exactly what this line does. All right, gentlemen, I have two more simple bad boy phrases. You can tell a girl to make her instantly melt for you. It's coming right up. But before we get into that, I just wanna let you know I have some openings for my program right now. So if anything has been resonating with with you, if you're tired of getting ghosted, if you're tired of being treated invisible by women, of having women look right past you like you don't even exist, come and join us. This is a 12 week program where for three months, you're gonna be working directly with me, Jesse, where I take you by the hand and we deep dive into your mentality, how you think, your thought processes, your confidence. We work on your tactics and your outer game, how to carry yourself, how to hold yourself, how to meet the most beautiful women in your city, in your town, how to get you in front of them, pull them into an interesting, shocking conversation, build sexual tension, build sexual comfort with that girl, make her go out on a date with you and get her into bed. And every single guy that comes into my program, at first he's like, I don't know if I feel ready for this. I don't know if I can take this on until he realizes I'm never gonna be ready. There's always a reason reason to put things off. There's always a reason to delay and make excuses. You're never going to be ready. Sometimes you have to just jump into the cold end of the swimming pool until you learn how to swim. All those excuses are just lies you tell yourself to keep yourself down, to keep yourself weak, to keep yourself in a state of comfort. And sometimes you just have to feel uncomfortable to go for what you want. So if you do want to get what you want out of your dating life, simply go right here to attractionzilla.com. Fill out the quick application you see there. We're going to email each other back and forth a little bit to get to know each other. And if it seems like a good fit, I'll talk to you about your goals. I'll talk to you about your issues and whether or not I think I can help you. And as I always say, I will not take you on unless I can at least 10x your results. All right, gentlemen, the second bad boy phrase you can use to make a girl melt in your presence is simply, hey, look at me. Eyes here, right? Very dominant, very leading, very cocky, very entitled. Most men are too afraid to lead the conversation. Most men are too afraid to grab a hold of that girl and tell her what to do. Most men are too afraid to be dominant. The thing is, the woman wants to be led. A lot of times she's gonna be a little bit nervous in your presence, she's gonna be a little bit shy, she's gonna be having trouble making eye contact, holding that sexual tension, so just lead her. I use this line all the time, guys. Hey, look at me, eyes here, girl. You can look at me, it's all right, I'm not gonna bite. You can look at me, girl. I wanna frame it like she is shy of me. The typical guy, he's like, I don't wanna make the princess, I don't wanna make the highness upset with me, so I'm not gonna take any risks. But the bad boy, that's what he does. He takes some social risks. He puts pressure on the girl. He purposely tries to create tension. Hey, look at me. Eyes over here, girl. You can look at me, it's okay, don't be shy. I can see you're blushing, it's all right. Put pressure on her, create tension. Flip the frame that she is shy of you. Put the frame that she's interested in you. That's how you're gonna get her the tingles between the legs, guys, it's very simple. And look, when you can get a girl to hold eyes with you, to hold sustained eye contact, that's the key to building sexual tension with her. And sexual tension is your North Star emotion. That's the feeling you want her to feel, is sexual tension. Because sexual tension, that's gonna motivate her to actually pick up the phone, return your calls, go on a first date with you, and jump into bed with you. If you are lacking sexual tension, you're just gonna be that nice guy friend. And sexual tension is all built through the eyes. That's why I'm always telling girls, if they keep breaking eye contact with me, hey, look at me. 
attention here. Eyes on me, girl. All right, gentlemen, the third bad boy phrase you can say to a woman to make her instantly melt for you is you tell her, you know, you love me. You so fucking love me. I can feel the attraction you got for me. I am the man of your dreams. You love me, girl. See, most of you guys, what you're doing is you're just running into the friend zone. You're yapping away and everything you say brings you one foot closer deep into that friend zone. You're not building any sexual tension with the woman. There's no sexual chemistry or sexual comfort. I'm letting the woman know, hey, we're not doing friends. I don't do friendship, baby. I got enough friends out there. I don't need to have more friends. I don't need you as a friend. In fact, I'm gonna be just doing loving with you. I'm gonna be showing what's going on in the bedroom with you. You see, when I tell a woman, you love me, you so fucking love me, you're attracted to me. I can feel the attraction. I am the man of your dreams, girl. What I'm doing is I'm creating an us together frame. I'm creating a frame where she's chasing me and that's very flirtatious because I'm creating a play fight. It's a little bit of a battle. It's a little bit of a challenge. I'm inviting that girl to shit test me back or take my frame. It's a battle of frames. My frame versus her frame and I'm gonna keep hitting that until I win her over. Now a lot of men will screw this up because they mistakenly think that giving a woman compliments is flirting. Oh my god, your highness, you're so beautiful, you're gorgeous, you're looking perfect today. What can I do for you? Gentlemen, giving a woman compliments is not flirting. Compliments is all pull, pull, pull. What compliments do is they can help make the woman feel more comfortable. They can feed her ego. They can validate the woman. She can feel like she's getting a lot of positive attention. The problem is there's no tension there. There's no battle going on. There's no potential for a play fight. When you're giving a woman compliments, it's not flirting because the woman feels like she's already won you over. There's nothing else she needs to do to get your approval. Instead of giving a woman compliments, instead tell her, you're so in love with me. You're so fucking in love with me. I can feel the attraction, girl. I am the man of your dreams. And then create a plot line where she's gradually winning you over to her side, where she's gradually winning over your approval, but she has to work for it. She has to jump through your hoops to get you on her side. All right, guys, since we enjoyed these three bad boy lines and you want to take your verbal game up to the next level watch this video next right now eight flirty lines you can tell a woman to shock her into liking you use these eight flirty lines to help get that next woman into bed in the fastest way possible and even turn her into your loyal and loving girlfriend go watch that video right now gentlemen